when you go to your ShareGate account, you have cloud copy. So you go to ShareGate website, log in, and be able to do some simpler teams migration. Copy an entire team as a new team, merge a couple teams together, or copy teams channels. If you're looking at any team and you look at their channel, well, they're listed here. And I could just go copy channel, start by picking a tenant. Then I can search for a team. And next, I'm going to pick which channels I want to migrate. So I'm able to actually just move one channel or move all of these channels and bring them to a different team, whether it's in the same tenant or a different one. Same thing here to add the destinations as we had before. So let's pick the same tenant for now. And now you have your new channels in the destination team that will have these names. You can control what you're moving around, messages, planners, all of these things, the membership as well. If you're moving to a private team, you want to be careful on adding or not adding the private channel members to that destination team and so on. You're familiar with user and group mappings for every type of migration operation. This is also available. And when you get to the last screen, we're just going to give you a summary of what needs to be done. So this way, you can confirm that you're really doing what you intended. You can see that I picked two of eight channels. They're going to be renamed for fun test and private step. They're moving over to that team. I'm carrying over everything. I just hit start copy and I'm done. I'm doing a team's channels migration using cloud copy. Sharegate migration tool under copy. Well, when you use the copy teams option, you can just pick one channel and move it to a different location. I could do the same for multiple teams and then continue to my destination. I need to select one destination tenant. Here, I wanted to move channels, copy channels, pick a different team in this tenant, and now I'll be able to do the migration of just the channels. I can hit rename if there's anything and I want to change the channel's name or maybe add a prefix or a suffix automatically. I'm good to go. I hit start copy once I have saved everything and I'm able to just move channels around to maybe follow some of the requests you get at your help desk or follow business reorgs and whatnot so that uh, you get the stuff that employees need where they need it. It could also be useful in full actual migration where you don't need everything from a team. You just need some channels to move to your new tenant. That's how you could do it as well, even with the cloud copy.